Hello everyone, uh, welcome to complete SQL tutorial video series. In this video, I am going to start the new topic which is the dynamic SQL. And uh, dynamic SQL is very uh, helpful to you if you work in the real time scenario. And uh, you will get always the one question related to uh, dynamic SQL. So I will discuss in the detail uh, what is the dynamic SQL and uh, in the next video I will discuss about the, uh, the example of uh, the dynamic SQL uh, how we can use the dynamic SQL concept in the real time scenario and uh, uh, also I will discuss uh, how you can use the uh, dynamic SQL in the store procedure. So uh, you can watch complete all this video so you will get better understanding of the concept of the uh, dynamic SQL. Uh, if you uh, not get a chance to um, watch all the video, I already uploaded the all 70 video under uh, my channel uh, Pandey Guruji under the playlist in uh, uh, SQL tutorial for beginner uh, in the English language uh, and this is also available in the Hindi language and uh, if you want to uh, enroll on the my courses uh, which is the practice uh, exercise for the SQL uh, you can download training material, you can download interview question, you can download uh, training video and all are is available 50% discount. Uh, uh, so you can go and enroll uh, all the detail you can find under the uh, video description. So uh, let's start with the concept of the dynamic SQL. So basically what is the dynamic SQL? So whenever you uh, attend the, any type of the interview, you will get a question. Uh, what is the dynamic SQL? So what is the best suitable answer for this question? So uh, let's first discuss with the theoretically part uh, what is the dynamic SQL. Uh, then practically I will show you uh, what exactly dynamic SQL is there. So basically uh, the dynamic SQL, uh, dynamic SQL is a programming technique uh, that allow you to construct the SQL statement dynamically. So Basically, whenever you run the any SQL statement and if you construct the SQL statement uh, dynamically, what is the meaning of the dynamically? Uh, dynamically in the sense uh, any of the value is not hard coded. Okay, you can pass the value dynamically. So whenever the one place the value will be changed, it will be uh, changed uh, in the other place as well. So we will show you uh, with the example how you can construct dynamically SQL. And it also allow you to create more general purpose and flexible SQL statement uh, because the full text of the SQL statement may be a noun at uh, complication. So basically, uh, uh, let's see the first example uh, how we can construct the SQL statement dynamically. So basically, uh, let's jump to the SQL, uh, SQL Server Management Studio. So this is the SSMS. So whenever you write the code, so uh, select star from table name where ct is equal to ct name. So this code is not the dynamic code. Okay. So this is the hard coded value. Uh, you hard coded the value. If you hard coded the star means the all the column name here. So if you uh, construct a dynamically, you need to be use the dynamic SQL. So for the dynamic SQL, uh, we need to be concatenate the value whatever you want to uh, pass the dynamically. So I am here passing two value. One is the uh, column name. Second one is the CT name. Okay. So I am declaring one variable SQL command. So to run the SQL dynamic SQL, you need to be always uh, uh, declare one variable. Some of the developers they simply write the at the rate as SQL only. But uh, declare variable you can give the any name and uh, a data type should always where care or n where care and the column list and the ct i am setting the value here column list is equal to uh, i need the address id address line and ct and the ct is equal to whatever the ct name is uh, you want to provide here uh, let's example uh, i am providing here the london okay so i am setting here the sql command is equal to select uh, and uh, I'm concatenating with the column list here. So uh, what this column list is the basically I executing uh, so dynamically. So without dynamic, uh, if you want to write the same code here, so just you need to be use the select star from uh, uh, select column name. So you need to be passed here uh, in the second window, the column name, 
uh, address id address line ct from person dot address where ct is equal to uh, whatever we have the uh, london okay so if you pass the london you will get the all the uh, all the person uh, address which is the belong to london so if you execute you can see 434 record is populating so this is not the dynamic this is a simple query but if you want to execute dynamically we concatenating with the column lead we concatenating with the ct uh, ct and then we executing the command so if you run this code you will get 434 record so uh, within the second only uh, it got executed so dynamic sql is also based for the performance wise also so to run the dynamic sql you need to be use the execute command uh, and also we have the other option sp underscore uh, uh, execute so you can see this option is also available uh, using sp underscore execute sql okay so this is the way you can use the dynamic sql so uh, the next question is uh, coming to the uh, mind that uh, uh, that uh, why we use the dynamic sql okay why this required we, this code we can if i write the uh, simple also like this then why you write like this so this question uh, will i will answer on the next video so, okay so why the dynamic sql required uh, without dynamic sql why we cannot go okay so this question i will answer in the uh, next video uh, which is the 72 video so uh, keep watching and if you not subscribe to my channel please hit and the subscribe button and uh, please uh, uh, i'm requesting to everyone please uh, hit the like of the video as well okay so thank you so much for the watching this video i will meet again next one thank you